welcome back we had coulomb's formula in the last video lecture now i want to do a simple problem on coulomb's law just make a note of the problem just write yourself calculate the force on 8 micro coulomb located at 3 comma 3 comma 2 due to another charge 3 micro coulomb located at minus 3 comma 1 comma 0 assume medium is free space okay make a note now the moment you see the problem there is a charge 8 micro coulomb located at 3 comma 3 comma 2 another charge 3 micro coulomb located at minus 3 comma 1 comma 0 what are the question calculate force on 8 micro i have marked is very important i told you force on 8 micro where is 8 micro 8 micro here force on 8 micro see my hand on this charge so on 8 micro okay. so you know what is that particular coulomb's formula which is f so it is q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r cap am i right so before starting any coulomb's problem first you try to calculate what is a r cap okay that is very important a r cap so this term to this term 3 to 8 means you should do this charge minus this charge am i right this minus i have marked reverse a to b means b minus a okay let us do that 3 minus minus 3 a s cap because this minus the 3 minus minus 3 3 minus 1 ay cap next 2 minus 0 az cap okay this is your numerator divided by denominator is magnitude you know let us again define minus or minus plus 3 plus 3 is 6 ax cap 3 minus 1 is 2 ay cap 2 minus 0 is 2 az cap okay this is your uh, numerator and what is the denominator is root of 6 square plus 2 square plus 2 square okay let us repeat 6 ax cap plus 2 ay cap plus 2 az cap divided by what is 6 square 36 okay 36 plus 4 40 plus 4 44 so it is root of 44 okay this is your a r cap please try to remember this now let us enter into the formula okay this is just a preliminary formula a r cap let us enter into formula now what is your force let us say what is q1 what is the q1 value 8 micro that is 8 into 10 power minus 6 micro what is q2 3 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 4 pi. What is epsilon? You know that epsilon naught value 8.8 into 10 power minus 12. Okay, that you should know. R square we will decide it later. And what is A R cap? A R cap is here. Please listen. 6 A X cap. This is your value. Plus 2 A Y cap. Plus 2 az cap divided by the denominator is root of 44. Now you should know unit vector denominator is r. Please listen carefully. R, but I need here r square. Am I right? This is r as per the unit vector r. I need r square. Root 44. Its square is just 44. That is the reason I used to have this. No need to calculate that particular the root of 44 value. It is understood. Okay. Now we have to do the simple calculation, and then we can proceed. What is epsilon naught? You know, 8.8 into 10 power minus 12. Okay. So 
try to calculate this portion okay without uh, unit red okay let us do the calculation later only this red mark whatever i have mentioned you try to calculate so in the calculator 8 10 power minus 6 to the power of minus 6 8 into 10 power minus 6 into 3 into 10 power minus 6 okay i made the numerator numerator everything is ready please remember divided by open bracket because all this denominator is under the total open bracket i include all the term including this term open bracket 4 pi shift pi into because I am inside the bracket epsilon r you can type 8.8 .8 into 10 power minus 10 r there is a switch called the constant okay if you bring it here here constant 32 if you press you will get epsilon r okay constant 32 into 44 into uh, root of 44 close bracket Okay, all the denominator I made it within the bracket equal to I got 7.39 into 10 power minus 4. Okay, this is the uh, total uh, uh, the red mark value. Okay, this value into 6 a square, this value into 2 a y cap this value into 2 a z cap okay the result will be into 6 if i do i will be getting f vector is equal to 4.43 into 10 power minus 3 i am getting okay please remember i am getting 10 power minus 3 but i am not getting please remember into a x cap The same answer into 2 if I do 1.48 okay, plus 1.48 AY cap uh, into 10 power minus 3 I am getting keep it in mind again into 2 the same answer plus 1.48 AZ cap and please recall in all the 3 I got into 10 power minus 3 can be written as milli Newton. Okay. Why I made this milli Newton? You should know. The force unit is Newton, and and there was a ten power minus three, so I made it as. This is the final answer. Okay. Please remember one by one eight into ten power minus six into three into ten power minus six divided by the whole bracket four pi constant thirty two epsilon r. 44 into root of 44 you do this into 6 this into 2 this into 2 right? sometimes we do ask what is magnitude of the force okay sometimes we used to ask what is the procedure you should know uh, root of am i right 4.43 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square 1.48 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square and 1.48 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square please maintain that whole value everything as it is okay if i do i can do root of open bracket 4.43 to the power of minus 3 close bracket square plus 1.48 to the power of minus 3 open bracket 1.48 to the power of minus 3 so close bracket square plus open bracket 1.48 to the power of minus 3 close bracket square equal to the result will be magnitude of f equal to four point eight nine milli newton okay 
so this is the magnitude of this particular uh, result okay so i have calculated a uh, unit uh, vector that is force of the two points and i also calculated the magnitude make a note of this we'll do another problem make a note of that. given that three charges 0.2 micro coulomb at 2,2,2 minus 0.3 micro coulomb at 3,2,1 and 30 nano coulomb nano 10 power minus 9 at origin so there are three calculate force on negative charge due to other two charges in free space let me repeat calculate force on negative charge due to other two charges in free space okay they have given uh, three charges very simple problem i'm just going to give a small introduction and i am going to leave to you you have to do this where i should calculate force on whom force on negative charge force on whom where is the negative this is positive this is positive this is negative force on negative charge so negative charge is here due to this particular charge and this particular charge am i right so this is very simple now let us say let us say this force is f1 let us say this force is f2 but you do it this problem as a two separate problem and try to add the answer now on, on this in general try to start finding f1 first you do unit vector a to b b minus a make it of the unit vector then you do the same calculation like how i did previously then you do the same like this is one more problem. Let us close this. This is one problem. Get the answer. This is another problem. Get the answer. Okay. I will give you one suggestion. If you say F1 vector, hello, this is for example. I, you are going to do the problem. It's one example. 2ax cap minus 5ay cap plus 3az cap. I hope you got the answer. F1 is like this. F2 is equal to, I got another answer. Minus 3ax cap plus 4ay cap plus 2az cap you got that so you will get some other answer this one example please remember f1 i got f2 i got this is one problem close this this is one problem close this this is one problem what is the final answer the final answer f is equal to what you should do just add individually you add x with x 2 minus 3 minus ax cap minus 5 plus 4 minus ay cap 3 plus 2 plus 5 a y a z cap this is the final answer like this once you get f1 write down separately f2 write down separately and try to add it individually okay this is the tips i would like to do it okay with this i would like to conclude this particular video lecture so yes thank you